Nice freeze frame. <laughs> yep. I was I wasn't sure if it broke there for a moment, but no, it's clearly moving. Yeah, I just paused it on Knuckles dying. <laughs> Good. Good, I like it. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready whenever you are, so just let me know and I'll get it set up. Uh, fiddling with some text real quick. Making things align properly, making them look pretty. After all, this is the people's donation war. For some reason. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know as why. Yeah, Nexus. I... <laughs> the donation instead of wins everything apparently. Yeah, I would have needed an extra forty seconds to set that up though, Nexus. So rip. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. All right, I'm gonna start from level select just because there are, as HDL mentioned, soft locks that can happen. So, go ahead and give me a countdown, and I'll start whenever you're ready. Sure. Three, two, one, go. Alright, so this is Sonic 2 and Knuckles. And I already just glide cancelled a little bit earlier there, so I might risk getting a 21 here. Because I had to adjust my position or else the game would have stopped me immediately had I tried to spin dash couple of different things about Knuckles, I guess compared to Sonic. Still got the 20, don't have to turn in my speedrunner card, so it's all good. He doesn't jump as high as Sonic. He has the glide, of course, and there are some glide mechanics that I will be using and abusing. And also the speed cap is tweaked so that it basically just doesn't exist. In Sonic 2, normally there's a speed cap in the air where if you press right or left, the direction you're going basically you will get bumped down to a consistent speed if you are going faster than that ah almost had a really good emerald hill 2 there but i bonked at the end it's really easy to do whether you're playing as sonic or knuckles So yeah, hard boss fight. <laughs> 38's actually pretty good. You can get a 37. Um, I think probably a 36 as well, but I don't know. I, I'm not really into ILs so much as just doing runs. Now, Chem Plant 1 is actually one of the biggest reset points as Knuckles because of the lack of speed cap. Not there, although you saw that I had to slow down a little bit to get that jump right. That's a global cycle, by the way. But this next one here. Close enough. Spin dash. All right, so that jump is super easy as Sonic, simply because you just jump at the right point intentionally kicking the speed cap and you get skipped right up to there. As Knuckles, you have to do the precise jump while slowing down and it's made more difficult because you're not necessarily able to slow down the exact same amount each time. Now it's time to hope subpixels are kind to me. They were. That's not the ideal. I didn't get put inside the wall and get a zip, so... I have, I could have been here one cycle earlier, but that's all right. I didn't die, which is one of the possibilities. Although I was early on that jump, so I lost a couple seconds anyway. Well, that was risky. Usually try to stop a little bit before then, but oh well. <laughs> You'll notice the theme that the boss fights in this run are not really hard. That changes at the end of the run, but for a while they're pretty easy. 44 is not a great time. That loss is basically because of that missed slope jump all the way up to the top part and the end. Now, Aquatic Ruin, there's a pillar that normally appears at the start there as Sonic. It does not appear as Knuckles because the game devs were nice and realized it would be tricky to get over it. 
Also, this jump is... Oh, crap. I kept spinning. That's not the worst thing. It costs, like, a second or two tops. And I hit the path switcher uh, in order to get through that upper path that I jumped to nicely. That is... The worst thing to miss, I would say, in Aquatic Ruin Act 1 as Knuckles, because he can't really jump out of that. Sonic has more jump height, and it just becomes like a one and a half to two second loss. But as Knuckles, it's worse. You can get out of it, but it's annoying. You have to go back and down. And now, as Sonic, I would go the bottom route here, but as Knuckles, that looks good, I think. I might be a little low, though. You can just do this glide, and you can see I keep gaining speed. Nope, that was a good height. Excellent. So, I get to the end of the stage really quick. A couple pauses to load the boss and the pillars. And I have to make sure I time... Okay. I missed the uh, frame-perfect kill there, which would have Saved me a few seconds because I would have been able to get to this capsule sooner, but that is a frame-perfect boss kill, and I was slightly late because you saw him swing his hammer. 40 is a really solid time. The Casino Knight is a big reset point just because when it goes wrong, it tends to go really horribly wrong, but it's a little bit easier as Knuckles than as Sonic because Knuckles' jump height for a jump coming up here is perfect. You can just do a full jump every single time and it'll take you right where you want to go. However, you do have to go down here because Knuckles can't really get up to the top route as quickly as Sonic. That said, it's a little bit easier, I find, to get a 27 as Knuckles than it is as Sonic. So that was pretty much everything you want out of the level. Now, this next one, there's a level wrap that I'm going to at least try for. We'll see if I get it or not. I have to clip into the wall here. It's really precise glide. I was too late, so I'm not even, I'm just going to beat the level normally. That's unfortunate. But if I had been able to clip into there, um, I would have had, at best, a 50-50 shot of getting the level wrap because of subpixels. You can manipulate your X subpixels, but not your Y subpixels. Subpixels, of course, are less than a pixel. They are the most precise form of measuring your position that the game has. And if they are not right, you do not get the level wrap. The level wrap is where you skip right to the end of the stage, basically. You'll be seeing a couple of those later on. Yeah, I was late there. That was kind of unfortunate. I landed on the flipper in a position that I didn't want to, but that happens sometimes. So this was not a good stage, and not just because of the uh, lack of level wrap, but the boss fight could have been better. A little bit of real-time strats right here. The 106 is... Eh. You'd prefer it to be down around a minute. But basically, you can pan the camera up there. Oh, I did the Sonic start. That's right, it doesn't really cost much time. There's a glide that can save a second or two here, but the big ones are going this way and climbing up or getting hit there because I didn't jump in time. But now I'm going to use iframes to take this platform down into the lava, and then zip. So I was in the wall there, and one of the mechanics in this game is that you get shot out of the wall in the opposite direction you press really, really quickly. Ah, I hit the ring box. Oh well, that should have been a 40. Um, anyway, I don't know why there would be two voices going on at once, but... <laughs> okay, good. But that's something that we use to get a lot of speed. Now you can take the lower route here, and it's ever so slightly faster, but it's only about a second, and I find this route much more consistent. 
so I'm taking it. But unlike a Sonic, where you have to worry about a cycle in this upcoming area, with Knuckles you can enter up here and just take care of it like that. There's also a glide Knuckles can do here. I think that was a little early. Yeah, I would have hit the wall if I had not slowed down a bit there. Yeah, that wasn't a bad stage, actually. <laughs> so yeah, 56 is a good time. I'm happy with that. Uh, I wanted to spin dash. Oh, man. Really bad start there. Uh, I wanted to do two spin dashes, but I didn't delay long enough after landing, and so they didn't come out as spin dashes. Uh, and I wanted to go up to the top route there as well, but I can still do this the way Sonic does it without losing much time at all. Now, Sonic can just jump up and just skip this gate, but Knuckles has to do one of two methods. I just opt for this one. You do a full spin dash here and just kind of angle yourself in. That is a god-awful time, <laughs> but oh well. You want to be under 40 for sure. Mystic Cave 2 actually has a damage boost in it because of Knuckles' lower jump height. And that's coming up in a second here. So Sonic can just jump up to this platform, but with Knuckles, you have to get yourself damaged onto it. Missing that is really punishing, actually. You can also climb up there and save a fraction of a second, but I find it a little bit inconsistent. So that's not the greatest stage. You want to get there before the timer ticks to 30, but it's also not terrible. It's a little harder to do as Knuckles than it is as Sonic, mostly because you have to set up the damage boost. 45 is acceptable. This is not a good mimic, uh, Mystic Cave overall, but that was pretty much all because of Act 1. That said, I'm probably still on PB pace. I do not have nearly as optimized a PB as Knuckles as I do with Sonic. And of course, with Oil Ocean, I'll be going under the platforms. Hard to say if this is fully intended or not, but it's not hard to do just risky if you have a dropped input, really. Because, of course, if you sink too low, then you die. And that was a solid stage. 36 seconds is not ideal, but it's not bad at all. Is my cap card dropping music? I've been having issues with it lately, and I'm probably going to buy a new one. Oh, come on. I want to do a super glide up to there. So that was slow. You want to do it off that octopus thingy. But what I'm doing here is I'm activating a glitch that messes with Knuckles' physics. And that is going to allow me to clip into the wall here and level ramp. So I just underflowed Knuckles' X position. It went from, instead of going negative, it went to a really high number. Now I'm going to try to one cycle this boss. Looks good. Cool. So I just ended up at the end of the stage. Okay, yeah, it shouldn't be feeding through my mic, honestly. It should be, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. It's probably a capture card issue. 
I'll have to try to debug that later. The Metropolis 1 is a fun level to play as Knuckles, I find. It's got some interesting speed tech. It's got a glitch that lets you skip part of the stage. And, I don't know, I just enjoy playing it. Right here, I'm going to try to do a frame-perfect glide cancel to clip through this and skip part of the stage. This is a little bit slow because there's a good visual cue. It's not as hard as you might think with a little practice, but I'm just not getting it. This is a 60 frames per second game, by the way, so there we go. That is a 1 60th of a second trick that I'm going for. Normally I get it significantly quicker than that, but what are you going to do? So, that's not even a good time for Sonic, as Knuckles, you can get below 50 seconds, well below 50 seconds in fact. Metropolis 2 is another level wrap. There are two ways to do it. I'm going to do the safer way, which is the same as Sonic. So I'm going to get in here and level wrap. This is occasionally a 16 as Knuckles, but usually a 17. You can get a 14 or 15 with a riskier and trickier method. Um, I also haven't talked about score countdowns yet. Those are the reason that this game uses in-game time. Because you want to go fast in the level and optimize for that, of course. It's just more fun, more challenging, and better overall. Now, Knuckles doesn't have the Metropolis 3 level rep, but he does have this trick here. The piston clip saves, I would say, a good 30 seconds. It's actually pretty significant. And I didn't quite make that cycle because I missed the jump over that little steam thing, whatever it's called. Alright, that was a little tricky, but it worked out. And now I'm going to take advantage of the fact that this level wraps vertically and do a screen wrap to unload that nut and use it to clip into the floor. And that allowed me to skip a section getting a couple nuts up. And I'm basically just Beating this boss the fastest way we know how, uh, except that I hit... That was unfortunate positioning for that last little orb, because I wanted to kill the boss there. Uh, 128 is still not a bad time at all. This is... This has honestly been a really good run so far. I'm quite happy with it. Outside of missing uh, Casino Night 2 and having an awful Mystic Cave 1. So now we have a two minutes, uh, two minute five second actually is Knuckles for whatever reason. Auto scroller. So if there are any donations, now would be the best time to do them in the run because I don't really have much to talk about here. Nope, I think everyone's done since the Sonic 2 Big War. <laughs> Come on, people, the marathon isn't over. All right, Punchy, so. I'm enjoying the break though. <laughs> so, um,. What exactly are you thinking about doing as something kind of nuts? Because you, you kind of need to do something for an incentive, right? Did you give any yeah. thought to my uh, earlier uh, suggestion of 2P1C blindfolded Mila hard? I can't even play Mila with my eyes. So? Uh, well, we have the task incentive, that's how we planned on ending it. That got met a while ago, that's why I set that one to 
I'll be high. <laughs> I said that one at like a thousand dollars and it got bet like halfway in. I'm just like, oh, okay then. I lowballed it. No. <laughs> but yeah, no. That will be suitably crazy enough to end the marathon off on, I reckon. It doesn't even, like, Freedom Planet played like that doesn't even really resemble a video game anymore. <laughs> it starts resembling sort of like a rave concert. <laughs> nice. I don't know, maybe add a run. Have an incentive to add a run or something. That could work. Uh, I Honestly, that would be a terrible idea because I'm about to collapse. <laughs> That's fair. Have you been up this whole time? Yes! You, my friend, are an idiot. <laughs> I love you. It's been, it's been 41 hours, and I started streaming after I got in from a day of work. Whew. I double clutched. Nice hustle. Yeah, I double clutched nice a little there. Okay, so Knuckles can do the slope glitch kill here, but it is incredibly unreliable for reasons I'm not entirely sure of, so I'm not doing it. I could spend all day trying it, and I might only get it once or twice. It's that bad. Missed that, so I'm not getting the one cycle for sure. So this is not the greatest boss fight, but it could be worse. And now I'm going to scroll this thing off screen and try to spin dash jump through it and glide cancel. I didn't save as much time as I wanted to there because I wanted to drop right down here. But as Knuckles, it actually saves a little bit. So it's just Death Egg left. And it's a little bit trickier as Knuckles. I'm actually... I, I haven't been keeping splits here, so I don't know what my exact time is right now, but I'm actually quite sure that I'm on PB pace right now. So I'm probably not going to go for the Silver Sonic soft block. But yeah, um, Knuckles can't jump over the flames in Death, Death Egg's hitbox like Sonic can, so there's a slightly different kill method. And it's a little bit harder. Oh, nice! Animal explosions. Don't mess this up and you'll get a nice little treat at the end. do get that one hit over when the flames are a little bit lower, but that's it. And get ready on time. So when it fades to white, now. Time. 22.36. Yeah, I, I believe it. That was a really, really solid run. Like I said, easily the two worst things that happened to me were... Um, well, I don't know, Metro 1 wasn't that good either, but Mystic Cave 1 was bad, even though Metro 1 costs more time. It's a bit harder to optimize. And, yeah, the uh, just missing the level wrap, which is hard to get. Like I said, um, that one is tricky. Even if you get everything up to it right, there's a 50-50 shot that it'll fail. You have to uh, do a frame-perfect glide to clip in between the speed shoes and the wall then you do some stuff that's not too hard but the uh, main things are to manipulate your X sub pixels press right for two to three frames it has to be two to three frames or you just have to get lucky if it's not two to three frames and then do a little bit of stuff and then uh, release the direction with proper timing but you can pause buffer for that so that's not terrible 
it's still a really difficult trick to get. I would say it's definitely more unforgiving than the Metropolis 3 level wrap. If not for the um, the subpixel issue, I would say it would be easier, but it's probably the hardest trick in this run that we do overall. Now I'm guessing we're a bit ahead of schedule because I gave myself a pretty lenient estimate for this. So if you'd like me yes, to, well. if you'd like me to try to show off something real quick, I can at least give it another go on that level wrap. So, go for it. Uh, I went to Act One instead of Act Two. In the meantime, Hibo donated five dollars to say whatever the next donation incentive is going to be, put this towards it. Yeah, you're really pressuring me to think of something, huh? <laughs> A little bit late again. I don't have and I want to go to bed. Yeah, I'll give this a couple more attempts. At least try to get the setup. That was close. Just a touch early. I think that was like one frame early. That was a couple frames early. But I didn't break the box, so I can keep trying. <laughs> yeah, this this trick is a thing. Broke it again. <laughs> oh yeah, Zergriff is mentioning the Act 1 level wrap. That actually is a thing that you can do. But it is absolutely absurd. There we go. Nope, and I soft locked. That means <laughs> that, subpixels. Yeah, that means my Y subpixels were wrong. So I did not press right for two to three frames. I probably pressed it for either one or like four or five. Uh, if your X subpixels are wrong, you do get shot out of here, and uh, it's just a matter of whether you have full speed or not. So at least that's my understanding of it. Um. Trying to think what else I might be able to show off. Um, I could show off some stuff as Sonic. That's kind of weird. If you'd like to take up a few minutes, otherwise we could go on to the next game. I'll leave it up to you. Uh, yeah, show some stuff as Sonic. All right. We have time. should show. I've shown a lot of this stuff that I can show at one point or another after marathon runs. Hmm. I think I'll try to show off an alternate method for breaking Casino Night 1 first. This one is quick. I'm only going to give it one attempt. Now, you see where I am right now? If I go in here and clip into the wall right above Sonic, that's where the level wrap that Zergriff was mentioning starts. But I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go over here. I have the speed shoes active, which is important. And I'm just going to hold right and... Nope, I soft locked. So I'm stuck in here now. You can also trigger a zip which, depending on your subpixels, can take you to the end of the screen or not. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to see a video of that, you can check my YouTube channel. It's the same as my Twitch, AllotK47. Uh, it's also on the SDA IL table, because I submitted it there. Um, I'll go ahead and do this without going under the oil, because I think it's actually really fun to do. It's just really slow compared to what you would otherwise do. Oh crap, I'm gonna lose a cycle here. Oh wow, I kicked in the speed gap already. I was not expecting that. So you want to do a lot of spin dashes here. And if you saw how fast it went with Knuckles, know that a typical time as Sonic is 34 seconds can even be a little bit faster than that. 
So the time that I'm going to get here is going to be safely over a minute. And I'm really rusty at this. I routed it out, uh, got the tech figured out a while back, but it's... Not something I do often, so... Ah. My best time actually would have just finished the stage. But I'm pretty much at the end of the stage, so... Could be worse. Oh man, I did that twice. Actually, more than twice. But yeah, 131. It's... <laughs> much, much slower than it is by going under the oil. And other than that, try to think of anything silly. Maybe show off the slope glitch. Because slope glitch is fun. So Sonic, most of this is Oof. Pretty, pretty much the same, including the fact that if you uh, drop a jump input like I did there, you're probably going to die. Glad that didn't happen during my Knuckles run, even though it almost did. So I'm going to have to go back and retime that, figure out if... It's... Ah. Okay, if I do this again, I'm just going to show something else off, if... or we can move on to the next game. It's not a big deal. We're just killing time here anyway, so... And of course I get good platforms. <laughs> Those are uh, based on a hard timer from how long the game has been running. And I just activated Slow Glitch. So this is going to allow me to kind of walk on air and into the wall here. No black flames, but oh well. You kill a boss like this. The hard part is getting the ability to actually spin dash inside the boss's hitbox. You have to load it in a certain way. Uh, Sonic and Tails both get that lovely sprite that you just saw because the game tries to have them look up while they're also balancing and there is no sprite for that. So the game just kind of freaks out. Hmm. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're okay. Going to yeah, now. that's fine. Cool. Thanks for... Uh, yeah, no problem. Thanks for having my run, and uh, keep going, guys. We've still got a long way to go. All right. Thanks for your time. No problem.